this is our return visit to Thruxton for rounds 19 and 20 of the season. Qualifying for the first race is about to start, so let's see who ends up with that elusive pole position. You know what? I'm not even going to bother with qualifying anymore, because... Regardless of what position I end up in, I always just seem to get caught up in a wreck, so I'm just going to see what happens if I don't qualify at all. The new Vauxhall driver had a torrid time there, qualifying well down the order. To be completely honest, Tiff, I literally don't care anymore. I just want to get this goddamn race over with. And it's still shows a highlight reel anyway, so... I didn't qualify, I chose not to, there was no point really, I'm just gonna end up in a wreck anyway. So let's just get on with the race, and I'll keep myself on mute for the first three laps to see what happens. Well, it's time to go down to the track, where the cars are ready to start the first race. <laughs>
Okay, so I'm in a good position now compared to where I started because I'm now up to 6th position and I wasn't able to dodge the chaos as of which I knew the chaos was just going to plow into me anyway regardless of what I did. Also furthermore, we had a massive crash at the end of the first lap between David Leslie and what looked like Leslie Burt. So the two Leslies, if that makes any sense, were both involved in the same accident and David Leslie as a result of the uh, carnage that went on. And I don't think the carnage was caused by me for once. He ultimately dropped out of the race as a result of taking damage. I mean, he was quite literally up there with the chaos. He was basically up with the angels and he practically hit the mobile one bridge as he was up in the air. Which oddly enough I think is quite shocking but anyways. So I'm in a good position at the moment, I'm currently running in 5th. I have no doubt in saying Menu is somewhere up ahead of me unless he had an appalling start. And I know that's one thing he's not prone to doing, as of which if he is prone to any mistakes he would have a DNF, but sadly he doesn't, and I'm afraid up to this point it doesn't look as though I'm going to be beating him in the first race, but the second race, however, things might be different. And I only say might be because I really don't want to jinx it. I mean, I already said before, Thruxton is practically my jinx circuit in this game, because no matter what I do or say, I just cannot avoid the calamity that's just going to emerge here. It's almost as if the calamity is prophesized to just happen here every time I come. There's practically no avoidance no matter what I do, so I think the best thing I can really do is just finish as high as I can, try to minimise the mistakes as much as I can, and hope that wherever Menu finishes, he does not finish him first. Those are basically the three factors I need to think about, but dependent on knowing if they will come to fruition or not remains to be seen. But I am hopeful in saying he does not win the race. Because if he at least finishes second, then I haven't got quite as much of a mountain to climb. By the time we get to Brands Hatch... I mean, there are still four races to go, anything can still happen up to this point. But I just really want to get a run in. This clearly is not fun anymore. I just want to get a run in and see if I can actually manage to at least score a decent finish in race 1 so then I can focus on race 2. That's pretty much all I can really hope for and the Audi was not giving me any room there and he spun himself out in the process as a result so that does help me a little bit but it doesn't help me a lot because even though I am now up into 4th position Sadly, Menu is still ahead of me, so something tells me the chaos is not finished there yet. The chaos, in fact, is far from over, but once we come up to overlap the back markers, that's when I think the chaos is really going to start. Because, my god, if there's any word I can use to describe Thruxton in this game, it's chaos. There really is no other word I can use that will describe this one fucking track for everything it's made of in this game. Also, once you get into a spin at this track, it's almost impossible to avoid the walls. And Menu is just up ahead of me, so the good thing is he is not leading this race, although he could just be biding his time. But still, Menu is the one opponent I need to finish ahead of. If I am going to be 
if I'm going to be considered a contender before this championship is done, then I have to do something to menu. Or I could just do that. That works too. I'm not proud of it, but I'm afraid it's the maneuver I have it's the sort of maneuver I have to pull off if I'm going to be in contention. And apparent as I might be, one of the runners is leading this race. And I don't think it's menu, but if it is, then well, I just fucked myself. Because I spun out Plato. If it is menu lead in this race, and something tells me it could be, then basically these next few laps are going to be chaos, regardless of which way you look at it. But still, menu is the one opponent I have to beat. I do know the numbers. Menu is number 2 and Plato is number 22. So that's the difference between the two of them. But still, I basically knew Chaos was going to emerge right before I even got to the uh, start of this race because I cannot comprehend with how stressful driving this one track is, especially if you're right on the ragged edge and you're basically just going flat out for about probably 85 to 90 percent of the lap. You're just basically going flat out and hoping that you don't die whilst you're doing it. You're basically driving on the ragged edge. But somehow, my car is actually working really good, in spite of all the damage I have. My car is actually working really good. And if it is Menu who is leading this race, then the only thing I can really do to him is spin him out. I've already spun out one of the runners, but if I can spin out the other one, then that should make winning here pretty much even more satisfying. Because I desperately need all the points I can get if I'm going to beat Menu to the championship. Because every, because every race this season has pretty much been a barn burner at some point. But I don't think there's any other race that's more chaotic than this one. And apparently it was Plato leading this race. So I'm very lucky to know that it was Menu who I spun out, not Plato. And oh my god! What the fuck was that? I just got spun out by my teammate. He definitely hit me hard there. There was no doubt about that. That was a hard hit. So not even teammates can give you enough room to battle. But luckily, however, I'm already ahead of menu. And Plato, at the very least, seems to be the guardian angel who is helping me out here. And crucially, I'm also ahead of menu, so I don't have to win this race. But I do need to finish ahead of Menu if I'm going to be the official points leader. Come on, Derek. Come on, Derek. Let me through. Please let me through. Don't be a dick. Please let me through. Don't be a dick like the rest of them. Please let me through. Okay, he's let me through this time. I wrecked previously, but he did let me through this time. which I can say is a relief. 
I think these guys are actually fighting for points here. Plato was still up ahead of me, but at least I can say Menu is behind me, because, well... Menu... is in the other runner, and mercifully, I've not spun out yet. Although now that I've said it, I've pretty much jinxed myself. But hopefully that won't be the case in the first race. So, looks as though it's going to be a battle between myself and Plato, unless Menu really decides to put the afterburners on. in the closing stages of this race and thankfully it's not Menu who just overtook me, it was one of the Hondas. But still, two points between third and fourth, if that's where Menu is running then that's pretty much a position I can cope with. But still, I really need to finish ahead of Menu if I am going to be the official leader of the championship. I'm really going to need to beat Menu here. And there are still 8 laps to go here at Thruxton, so... Maybe this will be where I finally manage to get this race in the books. And yes, I am also short shifting because I know I'm going to be pretty much flat out for the majority of this circuit. Because even though there are corners, you basically have to go full pelt for most of the lap, just to set yourself a decent lap time during qualifying. I mean, you have to go flat out at this one track, regardless of what happens. I'm pretty sure Menu is number 2 and Plato is number 22, but still. This race has been a real shit show up to this point. And... The Honda is swerving left and right. He does make a little contact with me in the process, but... Just figured I would pay him back there. Just to show my displeasure. And just going to shift up into 6th gear because... I really don't want to spin the car up to this point. I just really want to keep this thing under control in the later stages. And if Menu does finish outside of the top four, then that's gonna be then that's gonna be even more crucial for my points tally. Because if Menu finishes in the points, and I'm pretty sure he will, then it's gonna be crucial to see what happens from here. Okay, well Menu is outside of the top four at least, wherever he is. And I've now dropped down to 4th, but as long as I finish ahead of him, then there's not really... Then I don't really have too much to lose. But I'm really going to have to limit the mistakes from here. Because I always seem to crack... Because I always seem to crack whenever I'm under pressure here. But hopefully this time, that won't be the case. And, by God... I sincerely hope that is not the case. But if it is, then... I'll just have to keep trying until I do manage to get a decent run in, but... I really don't want this to go on for days on end. I really want to get this over and done with sooner or later. because I just want to get this championship over and done with before I consider doing anything else. That seems to be the best option I have at the moment. So 
So Jason Plato is the leader of this race. I'm pretty sure he is number 22 because I've bumped him a couple of times. Menu is, I think, the number two driver in Renault. And if I can manage to defeat the Dominator here, then that's pretty much all I really care about. So back up to third position once again. I think second is pretty much the best position I can hope for here at Thruxton. And as long as I know Menu finishes behind me, I am more than happy to take home second position if that becomes the case. And I have mentioned before the reason why I'm short shifting is because I am right on the ragged edge here at Thruxton. You basically have to go flat out and hope that you don't spin in the process. That's basically what you're hoping for. And there has been a lot of spinning in this race. But as long as Menu finishes behind me then I've really got nothing to be contrived for. I did have to spin him out, yes, but I did it because I know very well that if I didn't, the outcome could have looked very different. And I really am hoping that doesn't prove to be the case, but yeah, anyways. So, four laps to go here at Thruxton for race one. I again make contact with the Honda. I'm going to assume that's Thompson who I made contact with because, well, Tarquini qualified in the bottom half of the field. I really just want to get this race over and done with. A 15 second gap to Plato, so I don't think I'm going to catch up to him. But I'm really going to have to keep the mistakes to a minimum now if I'm going to finish ahead of Menu. I need this to be a mistake-free run if I'm going to stay in second. Because then I will have the lead of the championship. And well, I honestly don't care what happens in the second race. As long as I manage to finish ahead of Menu in both of these races, then that's all I really care about. because this championship over the past couple of days since I got back from Norfolk County a few days ago it has really been giving me some grief just to try and get a decent run in and around this one circuit it's been a real ordeal. And I am closing in on Plato, but I don't think there's enough time for me to beat him. I think Plato is going to hold on for the victory, but as long as I can manage to finish ahead of Menu, then that should at least put me in position to... scoring some very valuable points. I know it's not the sort of racing manoeuvres I'd usually pull off, but in this game you have to be aggressive if you want to win and that's more or less the sort of thing I've technically found out about this game. You have to be aggressive if you want to win. You also have to make sure you keep your mistakes to an absolute minimum. Especially if it's here at Thruxton, because if you go even an inch offline, this circuit will bite you, and it will bite you hard. And... Everything seems to be going okay at the moment. I don't think anyone behind me, anyone is right on my bumper, so... I think I'm pretty much in clean air now, the way I see it, as I just looked in my rear view for a split second. 
So if I can just hold on to second and know that Menu is still behind me regardless of where he finishes, that should put me in the lead of the championship officially. Because I need these points. These points are absolutely crucial for my championship efforts. And I've already tried this too many times to say that I won't do it. So, onto the final lap now here at Thruxton. 5.6 seconds is now the interval to the leading Renault of Plato. And I could still have a shot at winning this race, but I'm not going to because I'm fine finishing second unless Plato makes a mistake, in which case he could very well do that since it is the final lap. But I don't think I'm going to catch him and just had to step on the brakes there just to make sure I would not spin. I know I probably didn't need to use the brakes, but again, it's all about damage limitation. Scoring every point as they come. Plato is going to waltz away with the victory in race 1, but crucially, I am going to finish second, which means I will be ahead of my championship rival, Alan Menu. Plato wins, I will finish in second. Okay, I am going to shut my mouth now. It's apparently Menu who takes victory, not Plato. I am sad now. I've been wrong this entire race, and Menu somehow beats me. I am sad now. And David Leslie, who did have that violent crash at the start of the race became the only DNF, and my teammate Derek Warwick finished in last. Well, let's just head to qualifying for race two. Will this second qualifying session be a repeat of the first? Let's find out. Hopefully it won't, Tiff. Hopefully it won't. So, unfortunately, Menu does retake the championship lead after this race, but... I really need to outscore him in the second race if things are going to go my way. Stay tuned to find out what happens next.